Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dustin Dustin and I'm making another video for smokes and grenades and tips and stuff like that. But this week it's going to be for DDoS 2. Basically, I've already made a few videos for some of the other maps, and I've just been kind of following in line with the uh, ESCA map rotation. And some people have really enjoyed these videos, and so I just decided I'm going to make them for every map and just follow along with the ESCA rotation and then compile a playlist that you guys can use. Uh, well, forever until map until new maps and stuff like that come out. Uh, DDoS 2 is a map that a lot of people already know and already have smokes and stuff like that for. It's not a very difficult map as far as um, nade placement, I don't think, but some people still may find this stuff useful, and I figure if I help at least one person, then this video is worth it. So I'll start on T side first and kind of just do some nades and talk through some stuff, and then I'll do CT side. It's also worth noting that there's a lot of other videos out there for maps, like the Curse Pro Tips series, as well as stuff from Netcode Illuminati and stuff like that, and those videos have a little bit more content than this might have, but like I said, if you happen to stumble across this, maybe it'll be helpful. So starting on the T side, I'll go over some B stuff really fast. Executing B uh, can be difficult, uh, just because the choke point getting into B can be, you know, rather small. Uh, however, a lot of people will execute B with some type of split by going mid and B tunnels at the same time. Uh, so these are some smoke grenades that you can use when executing on B. First one being when I like to throw whenever I want cover from the window and doorway when I'm executing on B. Basically what you do is you line up the corner of this box with this wall, like so. And then you're going to aim your smoke essentially right here on this little corner thing that comes out on the archway that I just shot that has a bullet hole on it. You just put your crosshair like on that basically and just take a couple of steps forward and throw like that. And what this will do is, is it will block off doorway and window from being able to see you whenever you're executing on the V site. Essentially this can be helpful for uh, you if the CT team you're playing against is playing some type of free take B setup where they're not necessarily playing in plat or anything like that. They're playing outside the window and doorway and it just allows you to not have to worry about getting peaked by both at one time. So for example, if you were just running out with no smoke, um, depending on what you were doing, maybe they might peak window and door at the same time and you'd have to make a, a difficult shot uh, on both of them. And so that smoke could be helpful. You can also throw some smokes that bank off the wall, like so, smoke. that block off the platform. And so that can be helpful if you notice that um, they have like somebody playing here with an op or just whatever, spying out the tunnels. So that can block that off and allow you to work window and door and also work this closet area at the same time. Also, while these smokes are bloomed, you can, you know, of course, throw flashes and grenades inside the site or back platform or just whatever. Uh, so those smokes can be very helpful from uh, the perspective of coming out of B. Now the other B smoke that's really important whenever you're executing B, or even if you want to fake like a B split and then work like cat and long or something like that, is smoking off CT spawn. Basically, two different ways you can throw it. Um, you can either throw it behind the Xbox, which you know you have some pretty good cover from getting shot, or um, you can actually throw it from up here on the catwalk. So the way I throw it from the catwalk is I just basically get lined up on this ledge here. Then I'll basically just point my crosshair uh, up here in line with this window, but like on the top of the structure. Smoke. And essentially, like you can see, it'll balance and smoke off CT spawn. The other way you can do it is from behind Xbox. You pretty much aim at the exact same spot, but from behind the Xbox, and I'll do the exact same thing. Now, with that smoke, um, you can pop flashes basically over this wall, something like that, and it'll essentially flash people that are playing outside of B. And so you can just kind of use that to split some people mid, and then some people B tunnels to attack these doors and window and stuff like that at the same time. And so that's pretty much the smokes and stuff that I know for B. So maybe those will be helpful for you. Maybe they won't. Uh, just try them out and see what you think. So next would be smokes that you would use for mid. 
Now, Xbox smoke is a smoke that's been thrown a lot in probably almost every version of Counter-Strike. Definitely in Source. I'm not super fluent in 1.6, but uh, it's also very helpful in Go, obviously, to help you get catwalk without getting spotted by some CT spotting mid with either a rifle and op or something like that. So you can get throw it from lower tunnels. Um, and the way that I make sure that it, it lands consistently on the Xbox and lower tunnels is uh, I run up against this box like I am right now. And I pretty much just aim my crosshair right in the middle between the top of the ledge and then the Xbox. So just right in the middle of the wall space. And just toss it like that. And that balloon's perfect. And there you have it. Um, the reason why I have like a set smoke from lower tunnels is because a lot of people, you know, just throw it from anywhere in lower tunnels. And you really can. I mean, you can throw it from anywhere. The problem is that some people mess it up and like bounces too hard off the wall or whatever and it winds up like landing here somewhere or here. It doesn't necessarily do what you want it to do. So to make sure it's consistent, I just throw it the way that I just showed you and that pretty much ensures that it'll always land on Xbox. I'll also tell you this, you can simply just like from either this side, mid, or just anywhere, throw a smoke right at the corner of this box like, a, like this. And that pretty much does the same thing. I mean, it's really hard for them to spot you going cat with that smoke grenade. Um, unless they're like playing like right there or something like that. So that's another smoke you can use. It's a little bit simpler. It basically does the same thing. Now I've also seen people throw smokes on the top of Xbox on the run. Like basically running and like bouncing it off this wall here. I'm just going to do it with an HG. Um, something like that. And apparently it just lands up against this wall that lands up Xbox and that's something that you can maybe experiment with just practice throwing it on the run aiming basically um, in this wall space area uh, and if you land it right it'll land on top of Xbox but I personally don't like that way because it's not necessarily consistent for me uh, so I just like throwing it the other way but that is one other option there's some other videos out there that show how to throw it uh, from the back of cat instead of from lower tunnels or over there other than that, the only other smokes I would talk about that's in this area is if you're attacking Catwalk. Um, some smokes you can throw, you can like bank a smoke off this box, and that helps uh, when you're trying to cross to like quad. It will help you have cover from anybody playing like Goose or A Ramp. So that's one smoke to know. Another one that people kind of throw is something like this. And that also provides you cover while you're crossing uh, from anybody playing like long with an op or something like that. And I've also seen people use this exact same smoke to drop into CT spawn uh, unnoticed and maybe try to cut off like a rotation. And essentially, that smoke that's fading away right now and the one I threw earlier in combination, like I said, you can send like one player to quad and you can bait a bunch of grenades while you still have people playing here on cat and then you kind of have uh, two different positions you can shoot from to try to take uh, the A platform uh, and get that bomb planted and stuff like that. So those are some good smokes to use for cat as well. Also when you are executing cat with like your Xbox smoke, uh, having somebody throw pop flashes on cat, something like this, uh, can be pretty helpful. Thing to think about. So the last spot for the T side would be smokes for long. Of course, smoking long crossing is very important. If you have pit control or you're over here, then you can simply just bank a smoke off this wall and it'll smoke off the crossing. But if you don't, you want to throw it from cover. Basically, just get where I'm at uh, outside the long doors. And you basically just kind of aim your crosshair in this vicinity by this red sign. And you just basically throw it on the run, something like this. What that'll do is just bounce right there and provide you cover for the long cross. Now every now and then you might mess up and there might be like a little sliver like this like I did. And that's generally okay. I mean you can still cross. It's just that um, you can give information away if they can see you cross. But they pretty much know you're going to cross if you throw that smoke for the most part. Unless you're just throwing some kind of fake. Um, so yeah, just basically banking a smoke off this general area on the run. I've also seen people throw it like off these walls here. Um, and it kind of has the same effect. So, some so that's pretty much uh, what I know for long. I mean, basically just using that long crossing smoke uh, along with like some of the stuff I showed on catwalk. You can run some type of A split. Um, pretty simple stuff.
And then, of course, using the CT spawn smoke and the B stuff, you can run some type of B split. And so, other than that, you're pretty much just going to have rushes, either a lot cat, maybe a lot long, uh, or just a lot out B tunnels or something like that. There's, there's all kinds of stuff you can do on Terra's side. I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that if you have control of cat and middle, I mean, you can pretty much do all kinds of different things very, very quickly. Like, you can execute mid, you can execute cat, you can go through tunnels to B. I mean, you can do so much just from this one little area very, very quickly, and so it makes it hard for CTs to adjust sometimes, depending on how they're playing. So that's just one thing I would tell you, is having control of this stretch of area is, is pretty good uh, if you're a terrorist. So the next stuff I'll show is going to be from the CT side. And I'll start off with B. So if you're a CT playing B, you can either do this on the retake or at the very beginning of the round. Um, this basically smokes off the tunnel's entrance, so essentially what you'll do is just you just get in this corner where I'm at, and you'll just aim your crosshair on the middle of this palm tree, and just move up to be in line with this light. So just like this. Smoke. What this smoke will do is basically, like I said, this land and the tunnel's entrance and it just helps block off uh, people doing a rush on B tunnels. And then, like I said, if it's on a retake, you eliminate maybe a player playing inside tunnels that's trying to hold uh, the site post plant. So that's another smoke you can kind of use for that. Uh, other than that, you can throw mollies or flashes or grenades inside the tunnel's entrance to also hold off rushes. It's just up to you. Uh, another thing that I can say that you can do is um, there's this little slant here in the ground right outside B and if you aim at like the peak of it like this and run and throw how it bounces and uh, if you get it just right you can actually make like a flash or something explode like right in this general area and it can sometimes catch somebody playing like behind big box uh, or a platform or you know anywhere inside the bomb site so that could be something that's useful there's also some smokes that you can throw uh, that kind of land in this general area that you can use if you're trying to retake through window or something like that. An example of that would be something like this. Just get up on this scaffolding, kind of aim at the middle of the bar, and then toss it straight ahead. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this. You can do it from here and jump and hit the skybox. Basically what this just does is provide you a little bit of cover from tunnels entrance and car while you're maybe trying to attack the site and then cross and it kind of provides you some cover. So just a smoke you can also kind of use maybe on the retake that might be helpful. That's most of the stuff I know towards B. At mid there are smokes that you can throw. Maybe something like this. Excuse me. Something like this if you maybe want to be ag aggro on mid that'll kind of block people being able to see you um, from T-spawn and stuff like that so you can press up and play lower tunnels or something. Also you can throw flashes uh, over to try to catch people. Uh, one word of advice though is to throw it on this side rather than this side. If you throw it like this they'll probably see it but if you like throw it like this it'll explode and they probably won't and so as long as you throw it and get behind cover it might blind them and then you can you know, try to pursue the double doors. Just something to think about. Also, throwing grenades like such will explode and land on people trying to cross cat. And something else you can maybe do mid. Then of course, just uh, I think the biggest thing that CT sometimes have problems with is like I'm defending a uh, mid B tunnel split. So essentially, if you ever see a C uh, terrorist team pop a smoke, like I was showing earlier, that blocks a CT spawn and you're a B player or a mid player, chances are that if you see the smoke that they're either faking a B split and they're gonna go A, in which case your A players are already in position uh, if you're playing like three towards A or whatever, um, or they're gonna do a mid B split and basically the way you defend this, or at least in my opinion, is a couple different ways. If you see that smoke bloom, you can simply bank a smoke and counter it and have flashes ready while they're throwing their flashes so you're counter flashing them while they're flashing plus you put your own smoke up so they can't just run out for free and what I would tell you to do is partner up with the B players so you two should stick together so either 
you know, anybody playing B solo should rotate outside of the site with you, and y'all two should just defend the mid presence and then play a retake on the rest of the people that might be attacking B from tunnels. Or you can, after that smoke blooms, you can pop your smoke and make your way into B to defend the B bomb side against these players and then take control of tunnels. And then just wait for your A players to rotate. I mean, it's really difficult to defend the mid B split with the one outside the site and one inside the site because you're always forcing yourself in some type of 1v whatever situation and it would just be better to be with your teammate so that would be just my opinion um, but that's totally like I said it's just an opinion um, other than that if you're a CT some other things you can do is uh, some nades for long basically getting up against this wall and aiming at this sun uh, you can pop flashes over something like that basically just a pop flash and also you can throw a smoke pretty much the same area and it'll um, land inside the doors and possibly block off players trying to pick along with an op or something like that also the other thing that I've done and seen people do is when you're running long as a CT you can just simply bank a smoke like that and this allows you to get in a position where you can throw nades and flashes and then try to make your way into into the pit. So this is something else to think about. Other than that, there are other smokes you can throw, um, like here, to maybe block off uh, or slow down a cat push as well as popping nades and flashes down cat um, and just different things like that. So there's just some different things to think about as far as grenades go for CT and T side D dust two. This map is a little bit different than probably the other videos that I've done where the smokes and flashes are a little bit more clearly defined for particular pushes and takes. Um, this map you can throw fakes or executions with a lot of the smokes and nades I've shown, and there's a lot of other nades out there that you can learn about that are also very helpful. But this is just something I tried to put together for D dust two. It's kind of a difficult map for me to. Uh, to teach stuff on just because unlike some other maps I think a lot of people already kind of have this one the way they want it so like I said maybe it'll be helpful and if so I hope you enjoy it and uh, check out the other ones alright thanks for watching